The ocean is the source of all life on this planet and covers more than 70% of the Earth's surface. Still, there are many processes in there which we don't understand. For example, what is happening right at the surface, in the so-called Sea Surface Microlayer, short SML. This layer is only 60 to 100 micrometers thick, which is thinner than a piece of paper and still a unique ecosystem. There's a lot going on in there, for example in terms of gas exchange. So we know that the ocean can take up 25% of the man-made CO2 from the atmosphere, which is good because it slows down the greenhouse effect. If we look at this very thin surface layer, the CO2 molecules hit the surface and are slowed down due to laminar flow effects. Most of them react with water molecules and create bicarbonate. The sea surface microlayer is populated by phytoplankton, which are photosynthetic microbes. In order to produce energy and grow, they need a carbon source. CO2 can be taken up directly, whereas bicarbonate has to be converted to CO2 by an enzyme, which is located on the outer surface of the phytoplankton. With the power of the sun, the carbon source is converted to biomass and the phytoplankton can grow and divide. The phytoplankton produces organic molecules, which are mainly carbohydrates. These carbohydrates aggregate to polymers and further to gel particles that float in the sea surface microlayer. These gel particles are very sticky, so that they integrate living and dead cells. Now the microorganisms come into play. They are the unseen majority of all life in the ocean. They colonize the gel particles and aggregates quickly, creating a biofilm-like habitat on the ocean's surface. Attached bacteria remineralize the particle. That means they take up organic material from the gel particle and produce energy and CO2, which is released to the water. This bacterial remineralization is actually the counterpart to photosynthesis because CO2 is released to the microlayers and the bulk water. This means that during the daytime, when there is a lot of sun, the consumption of CO2 dominates in the microlayer. But during the nighttime, this balance is shifted and due to the bacterial remineralization, more CO2 is released than taken up.